Hallelujah to Jesus, Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, and of days be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with the child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, yes. You said what you said. You call it what it is. You understand? You are being hated right now because of your boldness. This person, you are so bold in the truth. Like you are so confident in your truth. You are not the type that have to beat around the bush. When you know this is the truth, you go on and say it. You know, there are some persons, they will know the truth, but they will not speak it. They will say, I know the truth, but I don't want to speak it. But you are not that kind of person. You speak your truth. You call it what it is. And people look at you like, where are you getting this boldness from? Where are you getting all of this from? Child of God, the boldness that you have is in the Lord. Yes, they might be looking at you as if, oh, maybe you have pride. That is why you can speak the way you are speaking. Speaking with truth, speaking with confidence is not pride. It is not pride. It is not pride. The, the world that we are in, they, are all, they always love to turn the table, change the narrative against the children of God. You are speaking the truth. You are pushing for the truth and somebody is telling you are doing too much just to kill your spirit somebody is telling you shut up are you the only one that knows the truth just to kill your spirit that is why you see a lot of people they have gone into isolation they have gone into hiding you know children of god every true child of god is in isolation and telling the truth in one way or the other we are being isolated but being isolated don't stop us from speaking the truth. For me, I am that kind of person that is very, I don't know how to put it, that is easy introvert when it comes to lifestyle, Christian lifestyle. Uh, I'm that kind of person that, that is really, really isolated, you know. The more I'm growing, I started cutting my circle. As I'm growing, I started cutting my circle, you know. There are some things that used to bother me a lot. I will, I will find myself trying to explain, trying to defend myself. But the more I grow in the Lord, the more I realize that all of that are part of the journey. So I learn to cut my circle, especially when I open up, when I am close to somebody and I see that the person is trying to be funny, trying to act somehow, you know, I just start reducing myself. I start removing myself, you understand? So many Christians, many people, many men, women of God, they are isolated. I'm telling you the truth. Even if they have big audience, they have they have large audience, they have churches, they have big, big people they speak with. I'm telling you, when you work with them, you will understand that they are isolated. They don't really relate the way people talk they are relating. You understand? Especially with those betrayers. That does not mean that you should not love them. Because when you want to go with everybody, you will start listening to people more than you listen to God. That is why it's very important sometimes to at least take a step out from some certain situation. Hallelujah. They say, well done is better than, ah, you have come again. You know, well done is better. It's better. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, keep speaking your truth. That does not mean that you are proud. It doesn't mean that you don't know what you are doing. It doesn't mean that, oh, you have ego. No. Standing for the truth is not ego -like. You understand? So, they understand. This is why they always try to tell you, are you the only person that has seen it? Will you shut up? Must you say it? Because you love to speak the truth. That is what Christ had us to do. Even when he was being betrayed, he was still speaking the truth. When they asked him, are you the king of the Jews? He said, you are the one that is saying it. He was still speaking the truth. 
He did have to start defending himself. Yes, I am the king of the Jews. No, I am not the king of the Jews. No, I just came to rescue the world. No, I, I, I will go to the... No, he said, you are saying it. He stood by his word. He stood by his word. He stood by the truth. Though the journey was so isolated, you when you look at the journey of Christ to the cross, you will see that he was isolated. Forget the fact that he has disciples, he has this, he has, he was isolated. If Peter could even deny him out of fear, he was isolated. It is not an easy journey. You know, sometimes when I am referring to some Bible verses, there is a way the Spirit of the Lord will just speak it to me, relating to what I'm speaking. That is how, how difficult must that, that must have been on him. So be on, to, on that journey to the cross and he look at Peter and Peter deny him. You understand? Peter deny him the first, the third, until the cock crow. You understand? Now, if you were in that situation, how will you feel? You will feel that ah, everybody, despite all the teaching I gave to them, despite everything, they betrayed me. So every true child of God, on their way to glory, they are always isolated. That is why sometimes it is important to keep a small circle. Because when your circle is too big, it will get corrupted. It will get corrupted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Child of God, you are not rude. You only call it what it is. And that is boldness in the Lord. Standing for the truth. I pray may the Lord keep using you to speak the truth in this generation. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.